Alright everyone, so the third assignment, this is the fun one, is something called tangrams. Tangrams are like an old-timey puzzle that might have been made with wood block pieces uh, a number of years ago that now we can have apps on f our phones for. And the idea is that you would take several different pieces, the standard are these seven pieces, and rearrange them into a shape. So you can see a couple of different little solutions here, a description on Wikipedia, and of course the file which you will need to grab. Um, so let me explain how this particular file works. Top layer, new layer, that's just a working layer if you wanted it. The old duck is an old solution. I expect you to do that one on your own. We did that kind of in class. Um, original pieces, these are what you're going to be using. You're going to be making copies of them. And then all the other jazz underneath is locked, so you can't touch it. So the way this works is that you need to keep making copies of these seven pieces to use on each of these six puzzles. And the idea here is to get you used to moving shapes around and being careful about it. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So first step, drag select everything, meaning we click over to the side here. And when we drag, that box surrounds everything. Uh, drag select. Uh, control C, Control V, right? So now I got copies of everything. And I can uh, move these around to form the cat. So one of the things that you need to be careful about is don't resize anything. These are the size they need to be. No tricks. Don't resize them. Uh, number two is that when we rotate them, we need to hold down shift. Because everything in here is on 45 degree angles. Um, so uh, actually, it might only be on 90 degree angles. Um, but definitely not anything you can't get to with shift. And if you accidentally rotate them, they can get a little off, uh, which makes things near impossible to get back on track. Um, and the third thing is that we're looking to be careful about where you put things. So if you can get them to be exactly where you need with your mouse, great. If not, the D-pad on your keyboard, up, down, left, right, you can use those. So, and the fourth thing to keep in mind is that you can see as I'm putting this together, or if you take a look at the old duck, you can see a little bit of black outline. It's not perfect. I am human. Um, and I had to kind of manually put this together and make the background match. So, of course, it's, it's not going to be perfect, but it is very close. You can get these to be very close. You can get them to look nice. There we go. This one's always the trickiest piece to see what's up. We rotate by um, hovering around the edge until we get that cursor that looks like a curved arrow with two heads on it. There we go. Now, what I don't want to see... You know, the point of this, besides having a little bit of fun and getting used to working with shapes and whatever, what I don't want to see is, is is stuff like this, where things are kind of mishmash rotated and, um, you know, th they're not in the right spot, right? You can use those arrow keys to get them closer. And if you mess something up, if you're like, oh, crap, I rotated that too much, you can delete that. These are different colors for a reason. And you can grab the new one, Right? because they're all the same, they're interchangeable. It's the beauty of Illustrator. And I can, uh, oh, no, that goes there, that goes there, and I can replace this one too. So that's what you want to look to do. You want to be careful, be close, make it look nice. Now I gotta fix my, uh, nope, this one. I gotta fix my other mess up. All right, so we're looking to have things be close. They're not gonna be perfect, but I, I expect a little bit of effort put in to make them look close and like you tried. Alright, so the other thing you're going to do is I don't want to see a layer that says original pieces and has like 400 individual pieces on it. We want these to exist on a separate layer. Each one, duck, cat, turtle, whatever. So we need to learn a little bit about this layers panel. If I click and drag to select all the cat pieces, you'll see they actually show up here. They show me which ones are selected. And I can use this button to create a new layer, and I'm going to double click and call it cat. And there's two different ways I can move these pieces there. One is control X to cut, and then control shift V to put them back on the new layer. So I have this, they're going to paste to whatever layer is selected. The other way to do it is these are, I mean, it's selected in here visually. 
but you can also shift select, meaning you click one, hold down shift, and then click the bottom one. You can shift select all of these. This is just like moving files around in Windows. And if I click this and drag it up to cat, I'm like putting them in a new folder. That's all layers are in Illustrator. I mean, yes, the one folder will display on top of the other. If I move this one down, I don't see the cat because he's behind the picture. But otherwise, these function as folders that contain all of the stuff that's on that layer. So you can put layers inside other layers. You can put groups inside layers, inside layers. There's, it's, uh, it's, it's a hierarchy. Exactly like your Windows hierarchy that has folders inside folders inside folders inside folders. All right, so um, last but not least, the shape. We're going to copy paste it. Nope. There we go. So I'm going to put this duck in here and unlock him. Most of the shapes are sort of perfectly symmetrical, no matter how you rotate them, it looks like you also flipped it. But this one, because it's a rhombus, it's skewed. I need it to go in there. Right click, transform, reflect. Now fortunately for people like me, who don't remember that flipping along the vertical means technically flipping it from left to right. There's a picture that shows you that, because I always mix up that terminology. But you need to flip this along one of the axes, and if I hit OK, now it looks like the right shape. So that's the only one that would need to get flipped around. All the rest of them are, are symmetrical in such a way that that doesn't matter. But that one you might have to reflect. All right, so this is the fun one. Maybe take a break from the lines thing, do a couple of these, go back. Um, it's the fun one, but we still want it to be organized nicely. Um, and